All right, everybody. So hello, welcome back to Total War Rome 2. So today, we're gonna be continuing our pl uh, playthrough where we left off last time after we reformed, or we not reformed, but after we formed the Roman Empire. So let's go ahead and see here. I think I know what we're gonna do for today's episode. Uh, so basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of our forces. We're gonna move them to uh, this northwestern border over here with Gaul. Uh, we're gonna take out the Senate Loyalists right here, and then we're going to march on Gaul. We're going to take over um, everything here and take over basically all of France, and anyone that gets dragged into the war, we will fight them all the same. Uh, so I think the Nervii might get dragged. Uh, actually, I don't think anyone's going to get dragged in. I would hope they would get dragged in, but it's like they are the Pictones, which are a faction up here. Either Northern Aquinta right here, or in Celtia uh, somewhere there. Um, the at the Tani, which are also going to be somewhere up here, um, and then the uh, mm, those guys. These two might be uh, Iberian Peninsula fellas. Actually, I know this one is here. The Aravasi. They're definitely someone down here. Um, uh, I'm not sure that a tiny are. They might be someone over here. But anyway, uh, so the Narvi are not going to get dragged into this war. Uh, although they might want to declare war after we declare war on their friends. But either way, we will make progress. We have uh, a couple of armies already guarding the north, and we have Legion Scipio moving um, their butts on over there as well to get into position. Although I am going to leave a couple of people behind in this province, um, and possibly even further back because of our big change over to an empire there's negative public order basically everywhere um, except for Rome because Rome is an absolute W of a place um, so it's never it's negative public order and that is going to stay for several turns I'm not sure how long it'll stay but it'll be there for a while um, well this army took a beating bro so this, this is that um, army that absolutely didn't they attack us and we barely held on by the skin of our teeth. Yeah. This army is goaded. I think there's nothing better that we can do other than logistics to make them heal even faster because they are taking a lot of damage. Or they have taken a lot of damage. Um, let's go ahead and see here. What are we going to replace in this army? So we could probably use more veteran legionnaires, I think. Uh, so then we need another cab unit and we'll just get two more veteran legionnaires right there. Perfect. Okie dokie, uh, and then I think Julius here, I think we're going to disband all of those legionnaires and we'll just replace them with uh, we'll just replace all these guys. Actually, we know, we're also going to get rid of the equites because no one needs equites and we're going to replace them with ox cav so then this army is just overall going to be better than it was just a second ago and there we go I think it's time that we go ahead and uh, end the turn Alright, so pirate stuff, we'll just hunt them. Disruption, child was born, very nice. How's all this other stuff going on? Uh, yes, all these army and fleet destroyed. We lost um, Genoa over here, or however you pronounce that. Uh, we lost it, unfortunately. They uh, attacked us with an army, and their army is not very good. It's worse than our armies. It's Principe mostly, but it's better than the garrison, so they did take it. Um, however, we can go ahead here and we can just attack them. And there you go, there's their army right there. Although it's not going to be for very long. 77 is not very good, but... Yeah, that's fine. I'll we'll just go and occupy this place again. That should be their only other uh, army now, because... I mean, that was the last one. So it's Genoa. I think this is the farming settlement, because... There's not a lot of food in this province. This one I think is supposed to be, this is industry. Uh, so let's go here. I think what we want is sanitation. Uh, no, what we want from here is that. And then here, it depends if two farms can give us, that's going to be 30 food. I think 30 could be enough food. We'll get the fishing port for now because we are really low on food. But I think 40 or 30 food could be uh, enough. What all is missing food? That place is producing a lot of food. 
Here is somehow negative food. Oh, we are converting that over. Here is also negative in food. I think we just need to take those other two territories there. This place is just barely breaking even for food. Down here is negative. This is negative. A lot of places over here are negative in food. Uh, get the amphitheater to try and raise public order here. Because this province is definitely looking like it might rebel. Continue marching on over here. They're trying to reform their other army. Uh, it doesn't really matter though. We'll just attack them. Um, here... Normally I go for this one, but getting uh, engineer and experts could be worth it to get better siege weapons whenever we need to siege there. Uh, so there we go, and let's go ahead and uh, end the turn. Okie dokie, uh, that person is going to evade, very nice. Turn for mission, subversion enemy wounded, child is born, person comes of age, we, can, we have to raise the feet, we're not going to do that. Take the, this, let's see if we can take Masilla with just the fleet. We probably can. Oh, that garrison is nasty. That is a massive garrison right there. Uh, I do not know if we want to do that with just the fleet. So we'll go ahead and attack them with the army as well. That should give us much better odds. Yeah, we'll do an aggressive attack. Let's see how we do. Oh, very nice. Did not really take any casualties at all. Let's see. What do they have? Oh yeah, they have two. They have two. They have uh, two different military buttons all in the same province. How are they breaking even on food? They have three military buttons. Somehow they're breaking even on food. That is crazy. But there we go. Uh, the Italian front has just secured uh, the Italian front. Very nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what we're going to do. So, uh, you are going to continue this way. We're going to get ready to attack Gaul, by the way. Um, have you go in that way? Uh, I don't think the Nervii are going to attack us, so I don't want to divert troops to defend a front that might not even be open. But if that does happen, that would be very bad. And so that's why we're going to have an army maybe on standby. I know I said I'm going to leave this army back here. I'm not going to. Minus 15 is not a lot. And I think the government reform is starting to wear off a little bit. So a lot of places are now becoming happy again. They're not losing public order. Um, down here still is, but that's fine. Over here still is. There's happy. Over here is even happy. So yeah. We're going to slowly start getting back all the public order that we were losing. So I think it is fine for us to leave Illyria. Um, it should come back around eventually, especially if we get the amphitheater. Then they should be extra happy there. So let's go ahead and uh, continue. Okie dokie, the need for cav, we'll do cavalry training, we have natural causes there, everything else is goofing up. So I think the Arvinia, I know that we're coming for them because they literally just asked me for a non-aggression pact. Uh, obviously I went ahead and denied them because we're going to attack them, so there's no point in getting non-aggression when I'm going to kill them. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead here and figure out what we're going to do exactly because their, their front is pretty large. Um... This is the only province that we bordered them on, but I'm, I'm going to assume they can probably walk through this territory here. So I think what we're going to want to do is open as large a front as possible. So this army here is going to go for uh, Telosa right there. This army is going to move north, either to take uh, Baybreak or Nemosos right there. One of the two. This army is going to take whichever one of the two the other army doesn't take. Uh, so I think you're going to go for Nemosos and or Nemosos, and you're going to go for uh, the big city right there. Although this is a part of a different place. So actually we're just going to have them both head this way and take this. We're going to try to take them by the province and not um, individually. Or like I'm not just going to take random settlements out of single province or anything like that. Um, Okay, and yeah, so then this army here, I'm gonna let this one heal though, because we're not gonna declare war yet. So I need this army to be nice and healed up when we go to war. Uh, because currently it is very damaged. And this army, how many can I recruit in one thing? We'll disband three. There. I think we can do five. 
Yeah, we can do five. I'm not going to push it past five because I don't want to lose another turn of mobility. Damn, how much do we think we can recruit, boys? Let's see here. That's not what I wanted. Okay, um, I think we can probably just take... I'll just take five just in case. Um, and okay, so yeah, the effect is still going to be pretty nasty over here, but I don't think... Hopefully it doesn't last too much longer. Right, negative 23. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't last too much longer. Because if a rebellion breaks out over here, that would be really bad. Uh, and there we go. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Alright guys, so the general of uh, loop of the Lubai died, so we have to re recruit them. So we had some kind of race or something there, that's cool. Uh, natural causes, yeah, someone died here, uh, the general of the Lubai. So we had to replace him with someone else. I'm hoping that this guy isn't really old. He's 67 years old, that's that's really old. Um, oh, so also it was like the, uh, the uh, last emperor uh, died. So now we have a new one, which is good because I did not want, um, I did not want some other noble over here being the emperor of our country. I wanted it to be someone in our family, and now that is true. Uh, let's go ahead and get put you on Illyria because they are still decreasing in public order. That's not going to stop it, but that is going to slow it down by a lot, which is exactly what we want right there. Very nice. Alright, so, uh, I'm not sure when we want to attack the Arvinia. I know I need to do it sometime this video. I'm not sure how big this country is. It might just be these four provinces right here that I border. Yeah, it might just be the three, or the four that we border, and now we can see, and then the rest of it might just not exist. They might not have a big empire. That might just be literally just four provinces, and that's it. Um, also, there's a lot of food in this province. I'm thinking we're going to change that over to a harbor. So we can try to make a little bit more money. I uh, will sit on the border because we don't want to trespass. That would be bad. Uh, so let's go in and we'll just chill out on the border. We're definitely not going to be attacking you anytime soon. Uh, I'm going to wait for this army to heal because, again, I'm not sure when we're going to attack. So I just need them healing. Uh, continue your advance over here. Um, maybe we just won't attack until the Lubai show up because I want to have all available forces showing out over here when we do attack. And so I mean, to need to wait for the Lubai to actually get over here. Um, is having Spearmen actually decent? I think the comment that I saw did say they had at least two Spearmen in their army. So I will add two Ox into the army just because that's what the army's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be my army, it's supposed to be their army. Uh, just that I'm copying your strategy. See, so, yeah, there we go. Going to see if there's anything else to upgrade over here for Gucci to move on. I think that we are pretty good to move on. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on. All right, returned from mission. Very nice. We'll just do that. There, child is born. Two children are born. Very nice. Champion. Let's go and see what other stuff happened in the past year. A lot has happened. Alright, so... Let's see here. I want to rename this army, because currently it's just the Italian Front. And that's not a good name for an army. So... Let's see here. Separati <laughs> separatist Purgers? <laughs> separatist Purgers. Very nice. Yes, I, that, that name is subject to change, guys. Trust. That'll be what it is for right now. Um, let's go ahead here and... Separatist Purchase is going to be the name of that army until I decide to change it, or if anyone else has a better name than Separatist Purchase, please let me know. Um, anyway, so we have the loot buy heading on in over here. So yeah, I think what we're going to do, uh, the loot buy are going to head for uh, Tolosa there, and this army here, the Separatist Purgers, my new favorite army, is going to head for Taraco, right down there along with the fleet. So uh, I think we're going to end one more turn, um, even though this army is ready to go. We'll wait one more turn for the loot body to get into position, and then we'll declare... Actually, we'll have to wait two more turns, because it's going to take one more turn for this army to get here, and another turn for it to actually be able to do something. So we'll wait two more turns, and I'll just cut the next turn out, and something interesting happens. So I'll see y'all there. 
Alright guys, now that we're actually supposed to be re recording right now, let's go ahead here and click our military development so we can try to get research out faster. Very nice. So, we are finally in position to go ahead and declare war on the Arvinii. So let's go ahead and do that. Greetings. Speak plainly and without idle purpose. Yeah, it doesn't matter, bro. Okay, so we have a solid three allies that might join them. And I know that these guys are over here, I think. Uh, well, actually, they're not. This is the Gallic Confederation, so I guess they own that. I'm pretty sure these guys are going to be somewhere in Iberia. They're definitely in the, uh, the lower half of Iberia. And the Pictones are up north, probably somewhere around these provinces. So we will have a little, some area to go after this. That is going to be that is going to be three extra wars added on to us. But I mean, whatever, we can deal with it. Oh yes, I forgot. I actually wanted to go the same way at both of these armies. That's fine. Uh, we'll just go ahead and take this settlement anyway, because I think we might be at war. We're not actually at war with anyone else that owns this settlement. Okay, great. So whatever, it's going to break all this stuff down because I can't use any of it. They own this province, which is what is that settlement? What? That's that's so weird. Okay. Anyway, uh, so then we have those two as well. Uh, yeah, but I think that this way is going to be the way that we go. So yeah, there are the pictones up here. And I guess the way I chose wasn't good enough, so they're going to move all the way over there. Perfect. We might as well go for Tolosa too. Declare it just absolutely demolish that guy. There we go. The Lupai have leveled up. Let's go. And this place is extra good for uh, farms and stuff because it has it gets extra money from agriculture, which is exactly what we want. Uh, so then here, the Lupi are going to... I'm going to focus them with the uh, Conquerors there. I want them to be super good. And it wouldn't make sense for me to give this guy the Warrior again because they are the Lupi. That's what I did the first time. However, the Warrior sucks. Like, strategist, like, strategist is literally like, the best one to make your generals, I think. I don't think... Authority doesn't make any sense. The only two I've ever, I've like ever chosen, are strategist or um, warrior. And warrior just isn't good anymore. Uh, so I would just choose strategist if I for you playing this game. And I think the reason why we had so much food was because this was a fishing port, which makes a lot of sense. And I probably should not have changed that, but I did. Unfortunately, that's. Honestly, my bad. So we're gonna go ahead and change that back. Um, one over here is doing pretty good. We can't do anything, unfortunately, but it's all right. Whatever. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end the turn. The world and rival the gods. Only the strong achieve immortality. All right, team, my gang. A child was born, and also the civil war is over. Hooray! Seven seven not war with the separatists anymore. They are gone, so we should hopefully get it back to a regular schedule. So here we go. Taro is undefended. Very nice. Let's go ahead and auto this here. We do have to take. We do have to fight one of these battles so we can get our daily battle in here. But we'll do that later. Yep, there you go. This is the uh, Editani right here. Controlling the beautifully named city of Ars. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead here. So this is one public order of morale. That's actually not bad. It's not great either, but it's, it's decent. We'll take it. Why not? Alright, so then where are you going to go? Uh, I think we cut them off here. I think we take Tolosa. Or, yeah, Tolosa. And then we also take... Um, Bur Burdigala? I said that correctly. Oh, there's an army here. That's a ginormous army. This might this is concerning. I will come back to that. 
Let's go ahead and just auto-resolve a couple of the other of these easy battles. We might need to figure out what we're going to do over there, because, I mean, the loot by might be a strong army, but that's a lot of Gauls in that one settlement right there, so that could be a slight problem. We cannot reach there in one turn. We can reach uh, Ves uh, Vesontio. Yeah, we can reach Vesontio if we wanted to. I think actually we have to go for here though. I think it makes the where are the where are you going? Whatever, fine. Uh, so then here we would want military building, conversion building, that thing, and an aqueduct right there. We want the military building to give us a big uh, garrison, and we want uh, the conversion just to convert everyone from Celtic to uh, Latin because everyone needs to be Latin. Or else people get mad that we're trying to make them Latin. They don't want to be Latin. Alright, so then back over here. Um, we have... Oh I, oh, I forgot to do anything here. I should probably change this all over to Roman stuff. So that then we can actually use this territory. Um, I don't think I did that. Did I, leave? I did leave Taro unchanged, unfortunately. Go ahead, we want that there. Break that down. We can. Uh, we're gonna break this one down. I don't know about this one. I think that breaks it down to the to the very bottom. It's gonna bring it down all the way to. I think it actually just makes its own different building pad. So I think it actually makes more sense if we do this. Uh, to build it to convert that field of Mars. Um, and you're gonna head towards ours because. Might as well take them out, too. I think that might be their only city that they have. Also, I was completely uh, wrong when I said that I think the Arvinia only have four territories because they actually have a lot more than four territories. That was my bad. Um, anyway, back to over here because we need to finish this up. We're going to siege Bertigala, and the hope is... Uh, that they attack us because I'm pretty sure they're going to definitely outnumber us and they're, the, balance of, the balance of power is going to be heavily in their favor. So obviously these, uh, the AI is going to be like, well, there is zero chance this man survives against us, so let's go out and attack him. The only thing is I'm a player, so I know how to play the game and this is not better than my army. <laughs> so... We should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and see what happens after I end the turn. Alright boys, just as predicted, the Arvinia came out and decided to attack me um, while we were sieging the city here. Now what I don't remember is, for some reason the Lupi is led by a veteran legion. I thought I... I thought I didn't think... I thought I had a cavalry as their general, but I think it might be an infantry unit. We'll have to see when the battle shows up. Uh, but this is perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. So let's go ahead here and just uh, fight the battle real quick because, I mean, that's the entire plan, right? And we have four artillery. Like, these guys are just going to get mowed down by artillery. Like, there's just zero chance that the AI is not absolutely just deleted here. Okay, day. Let's go ahead and see what we're gonna be doing oh yeah so the leader of this army is unfortunately a veteran legion uh that's fine we can uh change that when the general dies again <laughs> so that's gonna be a while but doesn't matter let's go ahead here and just do this i think the strat really is we have the velites on the flanks i'm dumb we have the velites in the middle uh, to hopefully return fire or maybe do some damage. We only have two cavalry units, so this is less than I normally like to have. And the reason why I like to have four cav is because the AI always has more cav than you. And in my mis in my experience, the Roman cavalry is not nearly good enough to take on all of their cav, and your infantry is not gonna cut it when taking on enemy cav. Um, so it's just it's never I've never really put. Uh, I've never had more than two in an army. I, no, I've never had less than four, at least, in an army. Because four is usually good enough that sometimes the enemy army might have less than you. But most of the time, it'll be just about even. So you can actually 
you can actually combat their cav while your infantry is fighting. It does mean you have less infantry, but I think I think this much infantry is a little bit excessive. This is a lot of infantry, but um, it should just absolutely decimate the enemy here. Let's go ahead and click Start the Battle. Let's go ahead and see here. Our range is not far enough to reach them currently. Uh, thankfully for us, they only have one cavalry unit. So my whole statement about why I only have why I have four cavalry units is completely uh, false now because there's only one right here. Uh, so we're actually better off that I have so many units. And I'm not sure is the strat to target all your fire on one unit or is the strat to uh spread out your fire like i'm about to do here because i usually t i usually like to target just one unit but i do think sometimes that hitting more than one could also be good um of course we'll just have to go and see how this works out for us here and obviously it's going to be working out pretty good Okie dokie boys, let's go ahead here and get right back on into it. So they are, I mean obviously they have to come towards us because they attacked me, so uh, we're just waiting for them to show up. And as I said, look at this, so 39, 59, 56, and 50, so that's not a lot of kills. But this middle unit is literally decimated. There's like 50 people left in that unit. These flank units, that one's down at least 20 people. Okay, we might need to get start getting ready here to attack because they are getting kind of close here. The uh, artillery is now kind of danger close. We're going to target that general, their general's unit. And even though, yes, they attacked me, I'm going to attack their infantry first. Because their archers are going to tear us apart. I do not like... I do not want to take that much damage. I told them to get off of their mounts. I'm actually dumb. Get back on the cavalry, please, because their cavalry is right there. Um, Alright, how are we doing? Infantry is doing splendid. Our general is under attack. Uh, yes, he is, because I had to send him in this time. That is honestly my bad, y'all. Look at this, though. I love the way the uh, ox infantry look. They actually look pretty dope. I think I got a bunch of little mini, uh, like, minifigures, a bunch of little, um, minifigures, uh, that are just, like, little plastic, uh, guys, and I think the, I think I did get, I got, like, some line infantry from, like, the Napoleon era, era, and I think I also, the other one I got was, is this the general, the general die? Because there's no... I think the general might have died, and that's because the general's unit does not have an ability. And usually, if it's a general's unit, it's going to have an ability. So the general's unit doesn't have any abil uh, an ability. So I think it's not a general's unit. Also, this uh, oh sworn is just getting destroyed. It had like 120 when it started. It's down to 42 right now. So we are just decimating their general's unit without even having to fight him. And that is what we want because uh, generals, the old sworn is better than any infantry Rome has to offer. Um, it's better than it's better than our best unit, and our best unit is expensive. Um, and this old sworn is cheaper than our most expensive unit, and it's also better than our most expensive unit. So it's kind of crazy. Get out of the battle, please, maybe. There we go. I mean, yeah, but look at this. The, their army is not worth. This, their, the other was obvious clearly lying when it says we are going to lose this because we are not going to lose this this is an easy cut battle this is just it's an easy battle it's this is there's no reason in worrying about this battle and it's also why i went ahead and attacked them or attacked their city even though the auto resolve said that we were going to lose it because no we were not there is zero chance that this army does literally anything to us and so far, I've been proven right. W. Alright, their, their enemy general is trying to charge my Velites. The Velites are just getting free shots at this point. I don't really care. 
Their Jones unit, it's, just, it's useless at this point. It's not going to do any damage to us. That's a problem right there. Get one of these reserve legionnaires that are just chilling out in the back and get them moving. We have a bunch of boys over here. Halt your ag aggressive firing. Alright. Their drone unit's laid down to one guy left, so they're. Oh, ooh, oh, 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 oh. They're levy freemen, alright. They're getting through, guys. Uh. Okay, good. They turned around. <laughs> Clearly, they do not know what they're doing. Tell them to get off their siege equipment because they're out of ammo now, so they can't fire. And I do not need them getting attacked, so we're literally just. Oh, here we go. The battle is already in our favor, my guy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the battle has been in our favor, dog. Ooh, these are both out of ammo. And here we go. The capitulation of their army. They are now gone. I'm going to go ahead and just finish this up. Alright, so that was a pretty W victory right there. They I do think our general's unit died uh, right before the turn ended, so... That's kind of sad. Oh, I guess the guy was kind of old, so I guess it makes sense. But yeah, we couldn't run them all down because, again, having only two cavalry means you get less people to run down units with, so that's kind of a reason to have more cav in your army. Uh, they did not lose as much as I would have liked, but they did lose a lot, so that should be an easy battle. When we get back, we will, uh, we will ransom captives because we want the money. Alright, so we're back, and again, yep, the Lupi did indeed lose their general. That is pretty sad there. Um, I'm looking for someone with like a really long name here. He could be the boy that we are looking for. That's our emperor. Do we want the emperor in an army? Do we want the emperor leading the Lupi? That could be pretty good. Actually, yeah, I think the emperor is a good fit. Give the uh, the emperor some experience. Uh, Rome has a food shortage. Oh, just as a country. <laughs> okay, I was about to say Rome is in like the province or what Rome are we on about here? Let's do that so we can get some more food because we are very short on food, which is not good. Um, all right, so then yep, you're obviously heading for over here. Although we can't reach it this turn, which is bad. Uh, and we are, oh, we're obviously, we're taking casualties because we're out of food. We can just go ahead and auto this battle right now because this is going to be a win either way. Sometimes the auto resolve, even if you don't use the auto resolve itself, sometimes just having even a negative auto resolve is still good for you because it means the AI is going to get overly confident and decide to attack you. Um, but then all it's going <laughs> to realize is that it cannot win against you because you're the player. Uh, also, Summer got sieged? Taro is... what the fuck? I've taken a lot of casualties here, buddy. Um, let's take Ars, the unfortunately named city of Ars. Go ahead and take it there. Very nice. So now they're taking damage because that was their only city, so we took that back from them, so that's nice. Um, I'm gonna do this even though, even though we tend we do need food. This is gonna be a food summit, by the way. Uh, oh, the food problem has been solved, apparently. Interesting. Alright, can we attack them? It says that this battle is not gonna go good. I am kind of inclined to agree... They have these veteran shield wars, and they're going to be pretty decent. Not the best that they have the offer, but I think they are up there with some of the best units that any Iberian country has to offer. They do have a thousand more men than we do. Uh, we have the same amount of cav. I know I have two more units of it, but these two are basically useless. And those two are damaged, so their cav might be better than ours. Can I recruit uh recruit mercenaries i cannot and i can't recruit anybody if we sit here we're just going to take damage we're just going to take attrition so i don't think it's smart to just sit in there and just take the attrition 
Uh, I also saw the Pictones were sending an army over here to this place. I think it makes sense to send Legion Julius over here to defend the city. Um, even though it's just newly gained capital. We might as well not, like, we might as well not lose it because we just got it. So there's no point in not defending it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we are negative food. Basically, every province is negative on food. I don't think maybe our empire just isn't large enough. I think these observer guarantees are the reason why. I in my co last couple of playthroughs, I didn't have this food problem, but I also wasn't using auxiliary uh, units. I wasn't recruiting ox units into the army. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy this one. That'll free up a lot of food for Italy. And it might even save us having to destroy this. I mean, that's six foods. So that means it will be positive two here. I think having a fishmonger here is still better because I'm not even recruiting naval units from there. I'm recruiting them from Brundisium. So I'm still going to convert that over. So actually leaving that there is fine. Because I'll convert this over to a fishmonger. That's 9. That'll be plus 5 food. So Italy will be fine on food. Uh, Illyria on the other hand. I don't think Illyria makes sense to have that. So we are going to get rid of that. And that will give us a lot of food back. Here in Thracia. I'm honestly surprised that this area is low on food might be because of the sanitation that we have going here oh, that's not taking away food so that's that's eight that's uh, 14 right there 14 that's 18 okay that's a lot of food um, is two of these necessary where are we at we're at 83 currently 83 is pretty good I say we get rid of the one in the minor settlement so we can maybe get a farm actually would make a lot of sense there uh, for Macedonia that's not contributing to the food problem until we upgrade it but maybe we just don't upgrade it this is not fixing the food problem it does give food only if there is a bread and games edict and there is no edict here so it's not really fixing the problem. It's also not contributing to the problem, however. Does this give... This does not take food and so It doesn't even take food at all. It just takes public order, so that's not the problem. It's going to be the cohort barracks, this bad boy, and this place, and the fact that we only have two farms. I'm not sure why that's there, because we get agriculture from livestock. That's why. Do we really... Do we really need... Two, we actually might just because Hellenic culture is on the rise. If I get rid of a temple now, that might cause Hellenic culture to spike even further up. And Hellenic culture is even more on the rise in Sparta. So maybe something we need to do is we need to finish the takeover of this area down here. We might just need to take over all of this. They might be contributing some to that over there. So we'll fix that later. Um, over here, we should have positive food base everywhere over here. So. That's the food problem. I'll come back to that in a second. Okay, yeah, so nothing is going on up here. So yeah, are we going to fight this war? Or this battle? Um, I think we probably should here. This video is going to be pretty long, I think. I've been recording for an hour already, so this video is going to be closing in on an hour. Um, however, I think... Actually, I think this might be where, where we leave it off. We'll see what we do. If we attack them or not on the next time. Uh, so yeah, if you guys do enjoy, make sure to leave a like. I'll have a video coming out tomorrow. Don't worry. So I'll see you all there. Peace.